Is Roamla really a way to make immediate cash from your phone or is it a waste of time? My name is Michael and many viewers have asked me about this app. So therefore, I decided to check it out myself. And in this Roamla review, I will show both the pros and cons, all the details and give you an inside look so you will know exactly what to expect to find out if this is the right opportunity for you or not. So let's start by going over who can join Roamla because this can be a little bit confusing. But first of all, Roamla is an app. So as you can see on the website, you can download it both through the App Store and Google Play. So it's available for both Android and iOS devices, which is definitely great. But who can then join? Well, if you go to the website, you can see in the top corner, you can choose different countries and you see the Netherlands, Belgium, France, Spain, Ireland, UK, Belgium, Germany, Italy, and then international. So it looks like you can join basically from all countries. But if you go to the FAQ section, you can see where can I use it. And then you see it says also the countries that were on the website there, but it also says a few others like Sweden, Poland, Turkey, and Chile. Uh, so if you visit one of these countries and have that language added, then you can perform tasks there. So it's a little bit unclear exactly which countries but according to the FAQ section these are the countries it's currently available in but it does seem that you can actually also download it and join it from other countries for example especially if you are traveling but how many options and tasks you will get access to will depend on the country you live in so let's go over the type of tasks you can usually do and then I'll give you an inside look so you can see exactly how it works also. So the type of tasks you can do also can vary from country to country, but I want to go over that here on the website before showing you inside, because inside I can just show you a limited number of tasks that are just available for me here and now. Here it gives you an greater overview of the type of task in general you can find. So you see, for example, there's something called product and service checks. And this is basically where you can go to certain locations. It can be something where you just need to go and take some pictures because they need to have something checked. One of the clients wants to check uh, an exhibition to have a product or the pricing or do mystery shopping and do small tasks like that. Th these can all be, be like that. This is location in the, uh, dependent. So you need to go to certain locations to do this. And this is one type of task you can also do these ratings and reviews and uh, this is can something that you can actually do in some cases even at the comfort of your home so you see you can write a review and for pro products there's uh, different information about these uh, tasks that you can do and uh, then there's some others you see these are more for like professionals so you can also get this type of task and of course how much you will get that will depend on how many skills that are required for some of these they pay a little bit higher so you see merchandising for example that this is something that you can also get access to or sales and this is basically because clients like they don't want to hire a bunch of people themselves so they use Roma as a middleman and then they just have a force of workforce of people like, like you that can go and do these different tasks and and that's you know they take a cut but uh, you know that's uh, for you it's an easier way to get in direct uh, contact with a lot of different clients and you can also do that with technical services you see it can for example be something for um, uh, like TV and internet or smart home or electrical uh, tasks or something like that that you need to do for this of course you need to have the skills so this is not something everyone can do but there are also tasks that uh, anyone can do but let me now then log into the app and then you can see in Inside how it looks. So I have now logged into the app and it's it's fairly easy to see. You can see I just have some different tasks that are showing. And the reason I showed you the task on the website is that it's limited right now because of my current location. But you can see, for example, there's some TV mount check and you would see what I would get. This is in uh, uh, Kroner. So this is the equivalent of something like $50 that you would get for that the exact fees you will get a salary you'll get will depend on where you live and the task and what skills are required and all that but this is how, how you do but what you i would recommend you to do is to go to this like location again it doesn't make sense right now because of my location to show you but this is how you will then just go there and then you can find all the 
tasks uh, close to you because if you have to chase around well for some of the tasks it kind of does make sense because you can make enough money to make it worth it but if it's for these smaller like mystery shopping things like that it's only relevant if you're just in the neighborhood in my opinion because if you have to walk around for that or take public transportation or drive and you get gas and things like that then it suddenly won't really be worth it for some of these other more like sales and marketing or uh, merchandising or uh, technical tasks then it might be worth it but this is basically just how you do it you you just go here you click the task you want to do you read the exact descriptions locations all that the requirements and then you can apply for it once you've been approved you just need to go do the task and then you can get paid here inside Romla so let's talk about how you can then get your earnings out so the only payout option they currently offer where I'm located at the time of recording this is PayPal. So you see, you would just need to write your PayPal email address and then you can get paid. So there's not like a high payout threshold or a long wait or anything like that. I do like that, uh, but of course it's only relevant if you have a PayPal account, but PayPal account is free to create. So if you want to use Romler, you need to make sure to also have a PayPal account. But this is basically all there is to it. This is all you need to use the app. You need to use the app, of course, to find the task to make sure that you read the task, apply for it and provide the proof that you need to provide. They will describe everything. It all depends on the task you do, what you need to prove that you've actually done the work. And then once it has been approved, you will get paid and you can take it out via PayPal. So to sum it up, I think Romla is an interesting gig economy app because you get access to all these kind of small gigs. And usually I'm when I see apps like this, it's only these like mystery shopping type of uh, task you can do but it's quite interesting that they also offer these for example uh, sales and merchandising and technical tasks if you have those skills some of those tasks can pay quite decently but of course always consider the effort and all that that is required and the money to go to these locations so you just need to uh, choose carefully and also there's no guarantee how many tasks you will get access to so it's not something you should expect to do for a living or anything like that but for some extra money it can be an interesting option and if you have the right skills you can also build it up depending on your location but if you for example prefer just always being able to earn from the comfort of your own home then i would recommend you for example use some of the top get paid to sites instead of leaving a link to a list I have that on my website or you can also choose to create for example your own online business I also have more information about that that requires a lot of effort before you start earning but then it also has a huge long-term earning potential so all that depends what you prefer I'll leave links to both below so you can check that out and I hope this video helped you and if it did then make sure to hit the like button and also don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and hit the notification bell so you won't miss out next time there's a video with tips and tricks about different ways to make money online